Yo, it's your boy EJ. Welcome back to another video, man. I am looking at some houses right now, man. I told y'all I'm in the market for getting a new crib, upgrading the crib. Told y'all the house I'm moving to right now, the house that I live in right now, the house that I moved into when I first got to Texas. I rented that spot online, man. I found all that spot. I did it all online. So I ain't really know what the, you know what I'm saying, the neighborhood was like. I ain't really know what anything was like. But shit. Now that I'm familiar with the city and what's going on, I'm outside, man. I'm trying to find a new spot for the family and shit. New spot for the dogs. Gotta do something completely different. We wanna do something completely different. I want. Uh, I might do a walk through. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all see the spot. If I for sure decide I'm gonna get it, but I can't do the walk through. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure that I'm interested in getting this one. So I'm gonna walk through first. Lay my eyes. You know. Yeah come up with ideas on how I'm gonna set it up. Cause I don't know if I told y'all, I'm no longer doing the garage shit with the dogs. All them kennels are set in, in the garage. We taking all the kennels down. I'm putting all them kennels in storage until I give me a building. I'm finna work on getting me a building where I can get up in the morning, I can go down to my building where it's super insulated, AC, drain pipes, all that. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine set up for the dogs with a big, you know what I'm saying, run connected to it, or I can be outside training, doing stuff with big pulling ties, and you know, a whole, whole, whole different type of type of thing, man, because let me tell you my plan. So, outside of me breeding dogs, I really love dogs. Like, I have a genuine love for dogs. I really love dogs. That's like my preferred animal. So, what my plan is to do with the dogs is, not necessarily a dog, but the building, I'm gonna set up, um, I'm gonna set up a facility where if you don't own land and you want to come to my, you know what I'm saying, my facility and whoop your litter, I'm going to have little sections where you can use little key cards and get into the section where you can access all the supplies you need to whoop the litter, all the kennels you need to separate the dogs and shit like that. I'm going to have it all set up for y'all. I am going to create like a whole a weapon facility, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for responsible breeders. And uh, I'm going to create... Uh, you know, the back part is gonna be where I can train the dogs. I can work with different dogs, work with different type of dogs, man. I'm not just into bullets, I love dogs. So y'all gonna start to see me buy different type of dogs too, just for on some personal use, not necessarily just for breed. Cause there's a couple of dogs out there that I just want for the family. Not, 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 not just to, not to breed, you know what I'm saying? Just some different shit, so. Just be on the lookout, man. I'm telling y'all, this page, this channel is going to get a lot more interesting. I got a huge plan, man. A huge, huge plan on what I'm going to do for my family, man. And this is how I'm going to build my generational shit that I'm trying to build. Um, just going to be different. It's not just, I'm not just no, no dog breeder or nothing like that, man. It's, it's shit a little bit more technical. I got real deal plans to do some real deal special. Something big and beneficial to the family, man. I want to have my family working at the facility teaching people how to work dogs, how to train dogs, how to take care of puppies and everything else, man, a whole nine. We really gonna do this shit big, NBF shit, it's huge. It's way bigger than y'all think it is. Uh, how about a cool bando? I mean a cool bombo. Be a smoking dog. Be a smoking dog. Don't share what I know. Next day, y'all. So I checked the house out. Nice ass house on the outside. That's on my face, man. Right? I know I ain't shaved. You see the gray hair, man. I'm getting up there. Wisdom. All right. It's about 7 30 a.m., man. Early. 8 a.m. I uh, cut my backyard, man. Came out and cleaned up the yard. Yeah, I cut my own yard. Put all the bikes and stuff over here, all the kennels. And it's trying to get stuff clean. I moved my chicken coop out to a spot, you know. This is what our chicken coop was first. You see the grass growing back over there. Now I got to let the grass grow right here. Tried to get the weed eater and clean that part up right there, but... I was using my neighbor's uh, lawnmower weed eater, and they got like an electric weed eater. It just don't work that good. 
So yeah, my girl got new grass though, man. Hey, chick, chick. She ready to get out, but I can't let out right now because I'm gonna bring the dogs back there for a bit. I'm having my coffee, man. Um, getting ready for the day, man. The search for a new house is still going. So what my plan is, I'm gonna tell y'all my plan, man. As far as me finding some land and getting a building and all that stuff set up, it's just not gonna happen right now, man. Realistically speaking, it's not gonna happen right now. I say we probably like a year or two from that, hopefully under a year, but we just, we just not there yet, y'all. We just not there yet. As far as all my retriever kennels, I'm finna take them all down out the garage. Um, finna take them all down out the backyard. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm putting all my retriever kennels in storage. So yeah, that 10 by 10, that 10 by 10, all the ones in the garage, all that, all that's going in storage, man. All the kennels going in storage. Cause this is more like, these kennels is for like, these are real deal kennels, you get what I'm saying? Ain't nothing cheap about them. They not light, they real heavy, they real kennels. Like these are the best, are the best kennels on the market. People always ask me where I got them from. I got them from Tractor Supply, okay? Every set, every uh, 10 by 10 is $500, man. And I got like, Probably 10 of them, you know what I'm saying? Got 10 five by fives, man, I got a bunch of them. I don't know if I got 10 actually, but I got a bunch of them. I think I got like eight, eight. So, but yeah, man, and all the dog houses, all the pets mate, you know what I'm saying? The Indigo, those are $200 a piece. And I got one, two, three, four. I had five of them, but I ended up breaking one. So that's one right there. It's two, it's two stacked on top of each other and shit, man. So I still got four of them left. We got so many kennels. What we're gonna do is, and they go to roost. And I got roost all the, every kennel got a roof to it. So I got two of the 10 by 10 roofs, and I got two of the, uh, of the 20 by 20, some shit. I don't know, man. I got, I got everything, basically. I got roost to all the kennels. I haven't got the side walls for the kennels. I got every the whole setup for the kennels, man. But anyway, I'm breaking all the kennels down, y'all. And um, I'm going to go put all the kennels in storage, cleaning out the garage. Uh, we're just going to do something different, man, until we can get a building with a proper setup, proper drainage, just do it the proper way. We no longer doing the... Just the kennel setup. We're no longer doing that, man. So what we're going to do from now on is I'm going to go buy all new indoor kennels. And we're going to bring all the dogs inside, man. I only got three females and two males. So There's only five dogs. I don't even count the Frenchies. The Frenchies sleep in the bed with us. Like, the Frenchies be, like, TT in the house right now. Like, Frenchies just, they're not even, like, real dogs for real. Like, they just... They different. It's like it's like a moving teddy bear. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the Frenchies. If you're interested in getting a Frenchie, you're gonna be able to get one from me this year. Um, they're not like bullies, bro. They just they just chill way. But I love the Frenchies, bro. I love. I get now. I get it now. After owning one, that's why I got three now. After owning one, I had to go back and get some more. Like it ain't nothing like the Frenchies, man. They just so. They like little teddy bears, man. And these are retriever kennels too, like right? this one of the circle of kennels right here. This is a retriever circle of kennel right here. It's a bigger one. This is one of the uh, one of the square kennels. And then this I got three kennels right here stacked up against the stacked up against the fence. I got three of these kennels already. I just gotta go get the little flow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? To scoot it in there, but we're just gonna bring the dogs inside, man. And... Oh yeah, what up, Juice? So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna bring all the dogs inside, man. 
outside to the little, the little kennels and shit like that. And then when it's time to go outside, use the bathroom and shit like that and do our training. We'll bring them in the backyard. And we have a lot of space, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna knock these kennels down. Hey, get down! Stop doing that! Hey! No! No! Leave my chicken alone! Come on, Junior, regulate! No! No! Chill out. Oh no. What up, Junior? Jump on me, I ain't say jump. Get his ass, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. Get him, Zeus. So I go who he is. Yeah. Go ahead, right bad boy. If you don't overfeed your dogs, I swear, cleaning up won't be bad. Like, if you feed your dog at the same time every day, uh, feed them the appropriate amount of food, not just stuffing them with dog food in hopes that they just gonna become some huge ass 200 pound. Come on, man, stop doing that weird ass shit, man. A dog ain't supposed to be that big. If you don't got no, you know what I'm saying, one of those type of dogs, don't expect it to be like that. People be asking me, get off my chicken coop. He be asking me, bro, your dog's gonna get to Come on, man, chill out. Get off me, man. Chill out on me, man. Come on, man. Chill out, man. Chill out, man. You set the camera down, man. Where is I want a 150 pound, 200 pound dog. You ain't getting it from me. You ain't getting it from me. I don't got dogs like this. I don't got no 150, I don't want no 150 pound dog, man. Can you imagine having to feed and take care of a 150 pound dog? Hundred pounds good for me. 100, 115, 120 pound male, ninety pound female. That's good for me, man. Yeah. When you don't overfeed your dogs, man, they just be healthier, man. Yeah, they look better. They look clean. And it's not a lot of poop to clean up. Like, right? I used to just. Feed them as much as they want to eat. Make sure they get full all the time. Man, I'm talking about eating five, six different pounds of shit in a five by five kennel, man. To my pack, so many pounds. Poo, 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 poo. When you bring down a feed, one, one pound of shit. One pound of shit. If they got a shit that many times, clearly they over eight. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is, man. I brought the food down, cleaning up it easier. And I'm glad I brought the food down before I transitioned them to the crib because just imagine if I still was pumping them with all that damn dog food and then I bring them in the crib and they sit in the wood kennel. Man, my whole house would be fucked up, man. Come on, my whole house would be tore up, man. You want your house tore up, man? Now you wonder why your dog shitting all in your crib, man, because you're overfeeding it, dog. You ain't got a routine, bro. Get a routine, man. 
I'm on this good coffee, man. Hayes over there fucking with my chicken. You know, I, I ain't gonna trip on her too much because she ain't trying to break into it. That girl, they like, she trying to... Cause she didn't have, she didn't taste the chicken before, you know what I'm saying? She was with uh, Zeus when he broke into the kennel the first time, broke into the chicken coop the first time, and ate my goddamn chicken, man. And she didn't already had the taste of the, uh, of the feathers and all that type of shit. We, we ain't doing that no more, man. So now, you know, I gotta, I gotta watch. Hey, how you do? How you do? Some miraculous will happen where I can secure uh, uh, secure some land real quick, or shit by the summer. And shit, boy, we're not keeping a lot of dogs around here, man. We in a we in a, a regular neighborhood, man. And of course, I'm outside the city where there's no room. I can have thirty dollars here if I want to. You know, I can have as many dollars as I want. But when I look at um, what did it take to take care of that many dogs? and have them in the house. Cause you can't have these dogs outside in the summertime unless you got some type of system set up, unless you got shade trees. And I'm talking about not shade trees just by your house. No, I'm talking about it need to be trees this way. It need to be trees that way. It need to be trees this way. It need to be trees that way. Where it cools off the environment around the house. You get what I'm saying? So until I get to a situation where the environment is cooled off by, you know, uh, 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 a certain level of density of trees, then you gotta have these dogs in the crib, man. I'm gonna get them some raw chicken in a little bit. Um, if you made it this far, then you get a chance to see me uh, get them some raw chicken, man. And uh, it's gonna be a cooler video, man. Just hanging out with my dogs, man. Just hanging out with the boys, man. I know y'all see dogs eat grass and all that type of shit. Somebody said, it's because of the stomach and all this type of dumbass shit. Man, listen, man. I used to feed Navy raw. Talking about put 100% raw organs, everything. Talking about everything. Dude still ate grass. He was in the best shape of his life. He still would eat grass from time to time. So I don't want to hear that. It's what you feed your dog shit, man. I fed my dogs the best fucking nutrition ever. And if you think I'm bullshitting, Go follow the Instagram, NBF underscore Navy on Instagram, you will see. I just had one dog. If I'm able to take care of all these dogs, and just imagine with the same amount of money, now I got less money than I had back then. I only had one dog. You got one dog, you ain't feeding your dog great. I ain't gonna say that. You do what you can, man. Do, do whatever you able to do, man. As long as you love this motherfucker, man, it's all that matter. Hey, man. I'm trying to deny my coffee out right here. I know you've seen that, brother. I know y'all seen that, brother. It's fairly cloudy today. The wind is blowing. I don't see a lot of flies out here. I've already cleaned up the yard. I'm about to come through and clean it up again, man. Treat the yard. 
I had to come through and treat the whole yard, man. Make sure ain't no in, no impasse and all that type of shit. You know, we just want to be successful, man. Want to be successful, man. You gotta take care of your shit, man. Paper. We eat. hey, hey, we eat my chicken alone, man. I only got one left. Somebody asked me to do my chicken with your eggs, man. If you don't watch my, all my videos, man, what's up with all these questions, man? All you gotta do is watch the content, man. You seen eggs in the chicken coop, man. There's eggs in the chicken coop right now, man. Of course they lay eggs, man. It's a chicken on it, ain't it? What they look like to you? What they look like to you, man? And it's more in there, man. It's more in there, man. Of course they lay eggs, man. It's more in there. Be mad, that I'm, you know, I gave two of the eggs to the chicken. I mean, to the dog, man. But I'm just, you know, get my girl. Come here, girl. Come here, Hazel. Watch out, Drew. Good, fresh backyard chicken eggs, man. They're the best, man. Yeah, my chicken right here. Gonna get some more chicken too, y'all. More chickens coming soon. Might do it this week. Yeah, you got some chicken. You got some chicken eggs. They love them eggs, man. I get it, though. They good. They way better than the stove eggs. My chicken is way better than the stove eggs because they're organic. Everybody be talking about free-range chicken in. I got real deal free-range chicken, man. What it's supposed to be like, man. I'm talking about they rich. Like the yolk is so rich and dark. It ain't like that stove shit, man. Fresh. It ain't never been refrigerated. None of that fresh eggs. Once you throw them in the refrigerator and ship them across the world and all this type of shit, man, you got to know they ain't the best. You know what I'm saying? You got to know that. Understand that, man. If you ain't getting that shit right from outside, then, uh. what we do is when we want some breakfast, we come out here, we look, get a couple of eggs, take them bitch back in the house. Well, I'm up here. The best. I got a cup of chicken. Uh, red quarters I thawed out. I'm going uh, to give a couple to the dogs, man. I know the Frenchies want some chicken too, man. I don't really give my Frenchies, the, you know what I'm saying, the raw chicken too much because I just don't think that that's necessary. But I like to do it for, the, for my big dogs. Every now and then I, I, I hook them up with the raw. I used to do it for my mom. My pregnant females first, first off. And then, Chicken eggs so good, bro. They're gonna eat the ground. And they hungry. I gotta feed them today. I ain't fed them all day. Did they eat last night? No, they ain't eat last night either. That's what you know what I'm saying. We're gonna feed them today, though. I 
I usually fast them on Sundays, but I fast them yesterday. So today they eat. Today they eat. Don't feed your dogs every day. Human beings do not eat three meals a day. Okay? That was a lie. You're not supposed to eat three meals a day. Look at my body. This is from eating. This is from overeating. So I had to bring it all the way down to, to one meal a day. And I'm slowly but surely getting back toned up. I'm slowly but surely getting back right. One meal a day. Now, you, you can have a little snacks here and there. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. Hey. So what I did is I, fought, I had to freeze for three days. I say at least freeze for 48 hours. When you buy chicken from the stove, freeze it for at least two days before you give it to your dog, man. Hey! Fresh your little chicken too, man.
Hey boy, you better stay back. The reason I'm not walking towards Zeus, not because I'm afraid of him. I just don't want him getting close to him and Zeus getting on his ass. You know, I can take chicken from my dog. I can go put my hand in his mouth and take it from him, but why would in hell when I do that? It's not saying I can't do it, but why would I do that? I be seeing people do that all the time, like giving dogs food and then going to take the food out of their mouth just to show that they superior or Bro, we eat a damn dog on. Let the dog have a chicken, bro. You niggas are weird, bro. Y'all do so much for the videos and camera and shit. Leave the dog on, man. It's cool. Back. It's cool that you can. Back. Stay away from Zeus now. It's cool that you can take food away from your dog. I think every, every owner should be able to take food away from their dog. But my thing is videotaping it. Um, doing all that weird shit uh, in danger because they don't think that they can do what you do. In danger, too. So I try not to, I try not to spread any type of misinformation, and I try not to uh, have people thinking they can do shit that I do. And I tell you all the time, do it. Try to do your hands. This girl's gonna go all the water. Yeah, man. Catch you guys in this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate everybody who's been tuning in. I'm finna uh, bring TT outside and have let TT have a, a chicken wire quarter too. TT. No, I can't forget about TT. This girl be in the bed with me. There you go, mama. Where you want her there, mom? You want concrete? I hear everybody else out there chomping and quiet. Somebody, it must be somebody, it must be chicken time. Like, it, 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 it gotta be chicken time, you know what I'm saying? Because this setup is for industrial, you know what I'm saying? This shit is set up for, look at this shit, look, look at this shit, bro. Look at the pee and shit, like, and that and that's okay. She's supposed to be able to pee, right? You know, I get it. But it's just like this setup ain't ain't for home use, bro. But anyway, let me get it to cleaning up, man. I love y'all. I really appreciate everybody, man. We almost at one hundred and eighteen thousand subscribers. This is crazy. Just a few weeks ago. Um, we was trying to get 50,000 subscribers. Now we at 118. I don't know. I don't know if it's because my work ethic or what it is. But I've been trying. Man. I'm doing the best I can. I'm literally doing the best I know how to do, man. I'm literally doing the best I know how to do. So if you see room for improvement, make sure you leave in the comment section. If you got any ideas for me, leave it in the comment section. I'm open to suggestions. But don't try to tell me what to do. Give me ideas. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to do things. I don't got no ego. So I, I don't have a problem with people, you know, giving me advice and shit like that. But just don't try to tell me what to do as far as like what I should, who I should breed with what, none of that. No, give me more. I ain't looking for that. I know what the hell I'm doing. I'm, I'm breeding genetics. Y'all breeding looks, okay? Y'all trying to breed certain shit because y'all looking for da, da, da. I am breeding genetics. I'm looking at the blood. I'm looking at the blood. I'm putting this blood with this blood. I'm not putting the dog with the dog. From a visual standpoint, y'all looking at. Oh, he's putting this dog with this dog. No, it's not what I'm doing, man. I am looking at the blood, okay? I'm looking at the history. I'm putting this blood with this blood. I don't give a damn what these dogs look like, and they look amazing. I don't care what they look like. You can't get caught up in visuals, man. I am putting blood with certain blood to create a certain blood. Catch you guys in the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. Won't this come take it? Can't trust him, he's shaking. Move wrong, gotta face me. You gon' hit me when I make it.